All right, so the other term we're gonna talk about today is your RDI, or your Respiratory Disturbance Index. Now, sometimes you might have a very low AHI, but a very elevated RDI, and you can still be diagnosed with sleep apnea if that's the case. So what RDI means, and the way you can really think about it, is having an apnea event happens in three different stages. And that's essentially what we're looking at with your RDIs. How many times per hour any of these three stages are occurring. So the first stage is something called a respiratory arousal. Now this is where your airways are slightly narrowed by about 30%. So you're still able to breathe, just not as well as you typically could be. Now these events will last between one to nine seconds and sometimes the body will fix that issue within that time frame. But if not, your airways will then go into a partial closure, which is called a hypopnea. And eventually your airways might fully close, which would be an apnea. And so those are the three stages that we're looking at with your RDI. That's gonna be the respiratory arousal, a hypopnea, or an apnea. Okay. Now, What's really interesting is you may have recalled me talking about your AHI. And so your AHI is included within that RDI, right? Because your AHI is the apneas and the hypopnea. So we can actually remove those from your RDI. And that remaining number is your respiratory arousal events that you're having. So let's say you have an RDI of 30 and an AHI of five. Right? That's telling us that out of those 30 RDIs you're having, five of them are gonna be considered full and partial closures. And so if we subtract that from 30, that tells us that your remaining 25 irregular breathing events are gonna be that first stage, which is the respiratory arousal. So I know that was a lot of information I just threw at you. Make it real simple. Again, think of it as in three different stages, your respiratory arousal being that first stage where you're just having a hard time breathing, right? Your airways are still open, it's just a little difficult. Uh, the second stage is gonna be the hypopneas, right? That's that partial closure of the airway. And then the third one is the apnea or the full closure of your airway. And, and think of the apneas and the hypopneas as the more severe ones, so we separate those, okay? Now, funny enough, with those respiratory arousals, you'll typically snore quite a bit, right? Your airways are slightly closed, but not all the way, and so air is still able to pass through, and you get a vibration off the airway muscles. And so typically we see people who have high amounts of respiratory arousals snoring quite often. And so I hope that helps kind of break down what your AHI and what your RDI mean if no one really ever went over that with you. Nailed it. Hopefully that's not too confusing for people. No.